Good morning, parents. Welcome to our webinar about our program for the academic year 2021-2022. First of all, I would like to thank you for joining today's session. I'm sure you are all very excited to know more about the program, and I'm also surely excited to share it with all of you. Before we start, let me share with you what we will be presenting to you today. Shortly after this, I will share with you a few challenges we have in the education sector, Malaya School Program for next year, what to do after you watch this presentation, and last but not least, the link to the Google form so you can drop your questions and our team will get back to you with the answers. Once again, I would like to thank you for making the time to join our presentation today. Before we go on, I'd like to share with you a quote that says, Education means inspiring someone's mind, not just filling their head, by Katie Lask. I'm particularly fond of this quote because it represents what our program is doing and will continue to do next academic year with even greater force. Inspire the minds of our generation of learners so that they can become great leaders ready to make the world a better place. Education that fills head without inspiring them is still in the era where international travel was done through ships, pictures were black and white, and the television was larger than your microwave. It's outdated. Our mission is to inspire our students to never stop learning and to ignite in them the light to make a positive impact in this world. We all know that COVID-19 has brought upon the world many challenges to many sectors, one of them being education. We all thought that COVID would be gone by now. However, we cannot predict exactly how far this pandemic will go and when it will be safe for our kids to return to school. Schools were unsure, parents were unsure, but together we have definitely found ways to keep meaningful education going this academic year. New challenges will come and with the new challenges, new solutions will have to be thought of. But I am confident that Malayan School has a community of parents and students who never cease to support and give input. Our purpose remains the same. Malayan School continues to work with the families to expose children to a world of opportunities, discovering who they are as people, who they are emotionally, socially, intellectually, and physically. Malayan School continues to build a strong foundation, ensuring students are guided towards lifelong learning and becoming well-rounded individuals ready to sail this journey called life. We know how every parent wants the best for their child's education and combining your passion with our vision has led us to design the academic year 2021-2022. Every one of you will have a program suitable for your child. From the world of academic excellence to the world of strengths, from structured to flexible. We have designed the 2021-2022 program with a few things in mind, including excellence in education to ensure our kids are well taken care of, building a path that suits them into their future, preparing them for whatever comes their way, always keeping a humble spirit and a strong mind. So, it is with great pleasure that I present to you the 2021-2022 program. Let's look at this ecosystem. It represents the 2021-2022 program. It combines the best educational practices around the world into one educational methodology called SEAL Living. It basically looks at children's strengths in different areas, exposing them to mindset, skill set, 
tool set and heart set. It brings together the Mindful Me, the Human Project, the Quest, and the Beast Teams all in one school program. This current academic year, students at Malayan School are being exposed to all of these areas. However, we are now using them in a number of different programs you will be able to choose from. All of this come with a cherry on top of the cake as students will be unwrapping their strengths through strengths mapping and opening their doors of learning through the multiple intelligences. The program for the next academic year has five main pillars which are five areas of learning, the human project, mindful me, the quest, power subjects and seal living. Let's look at them one by one to better understand them. But first, let's understand the proficiency areas in our program. Our program goes a step further than other programs. We took the STEM and STEAM curriculum and added two essential areas, namely business and social awareness, exposing students to a total of seven proficiency areas, business, science, Technology, Engineering, Arts, Mathematics and Social Awareness. All areas of the curriculum of the 2021-2022 are merged in these teams, ensuring students are well-rounded in all areas needed to be ready for the unpredictable future. It is impossible for children to be experts in everything, but students can be exposed to many areas and deepen their understanding in one area that perhaps they have never thought about. That area will shape students' identity. This year, we implemented the project in primary school and implemented it in secondary and pre-university as well. Next academic year, the human project will come with an improved version. Not only students will go through the design thinking process, an important problem-solving and character-building approach, but they will also be able to revisit all learning competency areas from their subjects and be teams. With the topic from the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals, students will be able to solve real-world problems with the solutions to be implemented worldwide. The Mindful Me is another area that has been improved from last year's social-emotional learning in primary school and newly implemented in secondary and pre-university. Students and parents have expressed how the Mindful Me program has greatly impacted their lives from improved communication to improved relationships at home. The Mindful Me focuses on the wheel of feelings growth mindset, empathy, and the whole me, guiding students to become aware and accept their thoughts and emotions. Next, we have the quest. The quest focuses on exposing students to become mindful global citizens, not forgetting their country of origin while learning and building passion towards a sustainable environment. Students start learning from themselves and the home, moving towards the neighbours and neighbourhood, people and city, citizens and country, global citizens and world. Through bringing the Indonesian curricular competency to the quest, students will not only build important skills but also a sense of nationalism and wish to help their country strive. What is seal living? The seal living is our routine program. The secret to success, according to the most successful people around the world, is routine. That is why we are building a program where students can practice meaningful routine both at school and at home, focusing on their basic skills, productivity and energy charger. Warren Buffett an American investor, business tycoon, philanthropist, and the chairman and CEO of Berkshire Hathaway, 
with an estimated worth of 77 billion USD, gives high value to Ruti. He spends 80% of his day reading, but he doesn't limit himself to academics. To unwind, he plays the ukulele. With the five pillars just shared with you, we are proud to present to you the Strength-Based Living Methodology, which is broken down into two different programs, the Inspire Program and the Flexi Learning Program. Through choosing which pathway the students want to go, they will be able to cater to their learning needs and strengths, whether these are in the academic world or not. The power subjects are those base subjects needed for students to build a strong foundation of knowledge. There are two pathways that can be chosen from. The exam-based, which focuses on Cambridge subjects including English, Mathematics, Science, IT, and Mandarin for primary school. And for secondary, English, Mathematics, Physics, Biology, Chemistry, Business Studies, Global Perspectives, and a few other subjects. And the strengths base, which focuses on other strengths areas. Here, we have some samples of potential subjects under the strengths base pathway. Art and Design, Engineering, Project Time, Computer Science, Digital Art, Project Management, Chinese Language and Immersion. This is the information on the two programs we will be offering next academic year. For Flexi Program, you will continue with what we have been doing this academic year. We will still be offering the Flexi Full and Flexi Light. For Inspire students, they are required to attend lessons in Malayan school. And for the Flexi, the parents have a choice of where the kids will take the classes. Those who opt for Inspire program can choose between exam-based and strength-based. Both options will have Human Project, Mindful Me, The Quest, Power Subjects and Living. The difference will be in the Power Subjects as mentioned earlier. Let us look at the four career pathways. The academic path is for those who want a professional career like doctors, lawyers, architects, and etc. For this pathway, academic qualification is required. For entrepreneurial path, this is for those who choose business ownership. For this pathway, you need a good portfolio and a good academic qualification is an added advantage. Next, we have the specialist path. This path is for those who want to be animator, artist, dancer, and etc. A good portfolio will be a requirement here. The fourth pathway is the limbo path. This is the path we all want to avoid. Here, students will be lost and unsure. In high school, they are unsure where to go, and later, as undergraduates, they are unsure the purpose of the degree. Now, every school offers education. The question is, does every school educate away from the limbo? So these are the programs for the next academic year. If you are unsure which pathway you would like your children to follow, feel free to contact us to get an insight on which pathway is best for your child. To get more information, please feel free to contact our school via WhatsApp, phone call or email. Last but not least, if you have any questions about our program for the academic year 2021-2022, please don't hesitate to use the Google form to write your questions so we can better cater to your needs and preferences. Thank you for being with us today. Have a great day everyone!